I'm pretty sure we've all seen clips such as these. Calisthenic athletes casually destroying bodybuilders. But is the calisthenics athlete truly superior in terms of strength to the bodybuilder? About 99% of the comments on this video alone suggest that the bodybuilder would destroy the calisthenics athlete in three main compound lifts, the bench, deadlift, and squat. But is this true? Are they similar in terms of strength? But in a different way, or is the calisthenics athlete just superior in terms of strength? Today, we're gonna take C bump versus Chris Harry, body weight dips versus bench press. This is calisthenics versus bodybuilder. Before we explain that, we need to explain what is bodybuilding and calisthenics. Bodybuilding must not be confused with powerlifting. When you are bodybuilding, your goal is to amass as much muscle mass as possible. This means your focus is hypertrophy or muscle growth rather than for say strength. Training for strength and training for muscle growth are two completely different things. Yes, if you train for one of them, you will get the other in return. But in reality, the two are completely different. Calisthenics athletes are training to master their own body weight. They're mastering body weight exercises such as the dip, pull-ups, push-ups, muscle-ups, and even more advanced techniques. They can do crazy stuff with their own body weight and they can control, stabilize, pull and push their body with ease. Now that we know the difference, who is truly stronger? Well, the answer is pretty obvious. The calisthenics athlete is far superior to the bodybuilder. First off, bodybuilders don't even train for strength. Their goal is hypertrophy, which is muscle growth. Overall, they're not training for strength. So bodybuilders are only moderately strong for their body weight, while calisthenics athletes are training for strength. To perform such crazy tasks like a plunge, front lever, or even a muscle up, it requires immense strength in order to perform these techniques. Bodybuilders love to isolate separate muscle groups at once. For example, doing isolation exercises or doing exercises seated in most and almost all body weight exercises, they're all compound multi-joint exercises which use multiple muscle groups at once. This mimics regular movements such as walking, running, and jumping, and sprinting, which are the basis for athletic performance, which is why calisthenic athletes are far superior in terms of athletics and strength compared to bodybuilders. Now you might argue that Bodybuilders might be stronger at the three main compound lifts, but this isn't always true. Most bodybuilders actually recommend that you avoid these three compound lifts, the bench, squat, and deadlift, because they believe that it is too much work, too much stability, too much effort in order to perform these exercises for hypertrophy when they can just sit down and do something like a seated row instead of doing pull-ups or the deadlift. Furthermore, in bodybuilding, there are no weight classifications, which is why bodybuilders are oftentimes only moderately strong for their own body weight, while calisthenics athletes have to be extremely strong in terms of relative strength. Absolute strength is max strength overall, with no accountability for body weight, which is the bodybuilder, for example. Well, relative strength is strength correlated with body weight. Yes, some bodybuilders might be able to lift a ton of weight, but this is only in terms of absolute strength. Well, a calisthenics athlete will be able to lift more weight in relation to their own body. This is important as in, mo in many body weight exercises, they're using their own body weight as resistance. If they're too heavy, the exercise becomes extremely harder. But these exercises require a ton of strength in order to perform. And thus, the calisthenics athletes must find a balance between strength and mass. If they're too light, they might not have enough strength. If they're too heavy, they're too heavy. So overall, the calisthenics athlete has a better strength to mass ratio than a bodybuilder. So in conclusion, yes, the calisthenics athletes will be superior in terms of strength to the bodybuilder. There's a reason when bodybuilders try calisthenics, they completely fail and humiliate themselves. Well, when calisthenic athletes try going to the gym, they do completely fine. There is a reason for that. Calisthenic athletes are training for strength. They're training to master their own body. Well, bodybuilders just want to put on as much muscle mass as possible. So in conclusion, the calisthenics athlete is far superior in terms of strength to the bodybuilder. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you don't, this channel will go boom, and I'll come to your house and break in and steal your bank.